to be or not to be a bourbon? Now that's the question. You want to learn more? Stick around. Hey, welcome back Whiskey Questers. If you're new to the channel, my name is Antonio. And in this channel, I'm gonna review whiskeys from all over the world with and without water, just to see if it changes. You'll never know unless you try it. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button with the bell notification so you can stick around for more videos just like this one. Let's move on with this review. But before we start, I wanna give a quick thanks to my neighbors, Chris and his wife, Laura, they gifted me this bottle about a week ago. We opened it and I thought it was pretty good, but let's see if a little bit of time opened it up. All right, now let's move on to the whiskey. Hey, you know, Crown Royal always gives you a little bag with all their bottles. I never knew what it was for, but it's, it's I guess it's to clean the whiskey once it, if it drips off the side of the bottle. Very nice of them. So Crown Royal Bourbon Mash is now known as Crown Royal Blender's Mash, and it was the first in the series of their blender series. This is a Canadian blended whiskey bottled at 40% ABV, that's 80 proof, and it retails for around 28 to $30, give or take. This whiskey, from what I could find out online, is made from a bourbon mash bill, and it is aged in new and used oak barrels, and then it's mingled together or blended with some of their base Canadian whiskey. Now a whiskey can be named a bourbon unless it's specifically made in the US. But if it's made in Canada, isn't it already a Canadian whiskey? So why the big fuss about having bourbon on the label? Well, through my research on this bottle, I found out something I didn't know about bourbon. In the TTB rules, it states that if it's not made in America, it is forbidden, forbidden. to be called a bourbon. But not only that, they can't have anything that says bourbon on the label. So bourbon mash was from the beginning not allowed. The label was approved as you see it right here on the label. And soon after that, the TTB went back to Crown Royal and said, hey, you guys can't have that label, sorry. So they had no choice but to send out a bunch of stickers out to all the liquor stores where this was distributed and on there they had to let the consumers know that this is not a bourbon whiskey man what a mess that was but either way here we are reviewing a bottle with the original label on there now if you were thinking about maybe going out and hunting one of these as a collector's item don't bother i already looked into that and apparently this is mass produced anyway so it's 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 like collecting baseball cards nowadays. It's everything's mass produced. You're not really gonna make any money on something like this. So forget about it. So let's take a quick look at the color and move on with the review. This one has a, like a really nice deep caramel color, but they do add some coloring. So I guess you don't really have to focus too much on that, but nonetheless, it's a nice color to look at. Unfortunately, it's not all coming from the wood. Let's move on to the nose. Well, I'll tell you this much, it doesn't smell bad at all, but everything that's in there is pretty light. I get caramel, I get some oak, there's like some sugar, and I say there's like a little bit like of a, like an orange zest, and I also get a little bit of a leather note going on. But like I said, everything's pretty light, and, and it does give you that impression of what a bourbon would smell like. Just a little bit too on the light side. All right, let's move on to the palette. Cheers. I get some toasted oak up front, followed by a little bit of vanilla. It's a little bit of uh, spice going on. Let's say maybe somewhere along like a, like a cinnamon. Then you get that char coming out. Say there's a little bit of a dark chocolate influence going on too. But the one thing that really stands out amongst those notes there is it's that oaky, woody flavor. But like I said, it's a little bit on the, on the light side. The finish on this is really short and there's a little bit of a oaky influence going on, but it just fades right away. I mean, it's 40% ABV. So let's add a drop of water and see what happens. I'm not gonna add too much since it's really light. So I'll let this sit here just for a little bit. Be right back. All right, let this sit just for a little bit, maybe two minutes at the most, not too long, but 
Let's get on with the nose and see what we get with some water. Yeah, nothing really changed. It's everything's pretty much the same. If anything, I get a little bit of vanilla coming out, but that's pretty much it. I don't know. Let's move on to the palate and see what happens there. Cheers. Nope. Just got watery and boring. Not much going on. Those flavors are still there, but they're so light. The finish, it's even shorter. I still get that buttery mouthfeel, but whatever is lingering there, that, that wood char, it's just fading away like even faster than before. Well, I didn't expect the water to do that much to this one, to, to be honest, but hey, you never know unless you try it. So my final thoughts on the Crown Royal Blender Smash, Bourbon Mash? Blender Smash, that's what it's called now. So, so my final thoughts on this whiskey here is, it's not a bad tasting whiskey at all. This is actually pretty nice and it just sucks that the water made it boring and without it, it wasn't too impressive. Even though it does have some nice flavors going on, I just feel that at the price point for 28 to $30, this is not something that you want to go out and run and get. I mean, for that price, you can pick up something way tastier. So I'd say this is definitely a try it, but not a buy it. So if you see it at a bar, give it a shot. But either way, I'm glad my neighbors thought about me, gave me this bottle, and I got to give it a try. All right, so that's it for the review for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, as always, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Drop me a comment below. Let me know if you like Crown Royal, and if you do, which one do you recommend I try next? And again, if you haven't subscribed and you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you leave so you can stick around for more videos. Don't forget to hit that bell notification, guys. Cheers. See you in the next video. Bye.